Parkinson's disease was first described by English doctor James Parkinson in 1817 in his publication An Essay on the Shaking Palsy. It is the second most common neurodegenerative condition after Alzheimer's. How many people have Parkinson's? Estimates vary, but globally, roughly 1 in 700 people have the condition. With the world's population now at 7 billion, that gives a figure of 10 million people with Parkinson's. About 90% of people with Parkinson's are diagnosed over the age of 50, meaning that in developed nations with older populations, there is relatively more Parkinson's. So for example, in the US, there are about a million people with the disease, and in the UK, the figure is around 170,000. In many countries, the number of people diagnosed with Parkinson's will increase due to both aging populations and better diagnosis. In 2018, the Michael J. Fox Foundation predicted that the number of people with the disease will double by the year 2042. But what is the economic impact of Parkinson's? A study in the US in 2020 put the figure at an average of about 50,000 US dollars per person Per year. This is roughly made up of $25,000 of direct costs including medication, care and hospitalisation, and $25,000 of indirect costs such as lost income from early retirement. In the US, this totals a whopping $52 billion per year. The flip side of this is that there is a lot of research funding going into Parkinson's to try and find cures, or at least better treatments. The number of scientific papers published per year on Parkinson's has steadily been increasing over the last 20 years, with a corresponding year-on-year -year increase in funding, much of it supplied by charitable organisations such as the Michael J. Fox Foundation, Parkinson's UK and Cure Parkinson's. We've recently released a couple of videos with Cure Parkinson's detailing exactly what they're doing and what their aims are. This is great news. But in absolute terms, research output for Parkinson's is still far behind many other common medical conditions, such as cancer and diabetes. Eventually, there will be therapies that will be able to halt or even reverse this disease, but we still need to keep investing in research to make this a reality as soon as possible for the 10 million people who already have Parkinson's and the many more to come. You can help us keep making this content by simply subscribing to the channel and remember there's a new video every week.